The lasting image from this sixth stage was one of Frank Schleck looking desperately for his bike after being caught up in a fall involving many riders. Schleck, like Cavendish, who was also caught in the pileup, paid dearly for the mishap. Yet another transition stage, not in the least bit uncommon for the first week of the Tour de France. Sprinters need to have their day in the sun, and since Sunday, they have not disappointed. Once again, today's 270 kilometer stage between Epernay and Champagne and Metz in Lorraine does not feature any particular difficulties, although there is a Category 4 climb at Boussière and an intermediate sprint at Saint-Miel under skies that are expected to be threatening. In what is becoming a familiar script, four riders broke away including the American David Zabriski of the Garmin Sharp team, the Italian David Malacarn from Europe Car, the Belgian Romain Zank riding for Cofidis, and the Dutchman Karsten Kroon representing Saxo Bank. What is more unusual is that the peloton let the breakaway gain more time than they normally do, as the escapees gained up to 6 minutes and 45 seconds on the main pack. Yet again, it's Radio Shack chasing the breakaway in an attempt to defend the yellow jersey worn by Fabian Cancellara. After all, you never know, Malakarn is only 3 minutes and 35 seconds from the top spot in the general classification. The peloton had had enough and began to reel in the breakaway, which now are marked men and they know it. For the intermediary sprint at Samiel, they were a mere three minutes ahead of the pack. A sprint ensued between the four riders in the breakaway, as their hopes of a stage victory are finished, so they might as well take the points. And it's Karsten Kroon who is fastest. The peloton sprint was won by Matthew Goss ahead of Mark Cavendish by less than the length of a tire, and Peter Sagan, who was always out in front. At 25 kilometers from the finish line, a massive fall in the peloton did serious damage. A hundred or so riders, including Thomas Vauclair and Frank Schleck, have been slowed down in addition to Ryder Hechtal and Johan van Sommeren, the winner of the 2011 Paris-Roubaix. Mark Cavendish was caught up in the fall and once again finds himself separated from the peloton. The peloton finally caught the breakaway as we headed toward a sprint at the line. It was a massive sprint, but without many of the star sprinters of this tour, although the new king of the sprint, Peter Sagan, would be in the mix alongside Andre Greipel. One of the two would bag his third victory of the tour, and in the end, it was Sagan. The young Slovak won his duel with Greipel. It was his third victory in his very first Tour de France. Sagan was simply too strong.